A few years ago, a Jesuit priest asked me to accompany him in visiting an old lady. During that visit, I was told by the priest that this woman fed all the volunteers throughout the whole duration of the International Eucharistic Congress in 2016. This woman simply smiled as the priest was praising and thanking her for her generosity. At one point in our conversation, she said, I'm just trying my best to share what I have with those who are in need while I still have time. I am sharing this with you because in light of today's gospel reading, we are reminded by Jesus to be careful not to fall into greediness and attachment to material possessions. Saint Luke is the only evangelist who mentions this particular episode in the life and ministry of Jesus. A man in the crowd said to Jesus, Master, tell my brother to give me a share of our inheritance. Without doubt, Jesus was fully aware that rabbis were often asked to intervene in the application of the law of Moses that prescribed rules of inheritance. But instead of responding to the request and solve immediately the dispute between these two brothers, he said, friend, who appointed me a judge or an arbiter between you? Interestingly, Jesus made it clear that he is not a divider or meristen in the original Greek version. Jesus has come to unite, not to divide. However, because of our wounded nature, we all have the tendency to ignore God's call to unity. We create divisions in our communities and even in our own families simply because we prefer to focus on ourselves, on our selfish desires. I remember there was a time nga doon ako'y gihilugan nga sa kalalaki nga matod pa sa iyang anak for more than 20 years nga nagbungol sila sa iyang igsuon wag sila nagtagad na koma na lang siya tungod lang gyud sa usa ka bahin sa yuta nga ilang giawayan i was told that the elder brother already died a year ago sa to pa wag gyud sila nagreconciliate sa punto nga nakasinati og reconciliation tungod lang sa butang nga material tungod lang sa usa ka butang nga lumalabay let us go back to the approach to this particular man, to the request of this man who approached Jesus. Did Jesus ignore his request? No. Jesus even took this opportunity to speak about the parable of the rich fool whose ultimate goal was to amass treasure for himself, to accumulate wealth, that gave him a false sense of security. My dear friends, the message of this parable will always be a constant reminder and warning for all of us not to be attached to our material possessions. After all, we are all pilgrims in this world. Kitang tanan lumalabay nining kinabuhia. Anytime, our life will be demanded of us. And there is nothing more tragic than when we hear God, the author of life, telling us, thus will it be for the one who stores up treasures for himself, but is not rich in what matters to God. Brothers and sisters, what have we done so far for the people, especially for those who are in need? In this time of global pandemic, have we realized that what matters is our gesture of charity to the people around us? Pope Francis, in his recent encyclical letter entitled Fratelli Tutti, denounces certain ideologies 
that create new forms of selfishness and a loss of the social sense. And, who he, and, and so he invites us, our Holy Father, he inspires us to find a common path that leads to God and promotes genuine communion. Matud pa niya sa ginagmang paagi, sa inadlaw-adlaw na itong kinabuhi, hinaot nga mutubo kita, diya sa pagpaambit sa atong grasya nga sa uban, diya sa pagpadayag sa atong gugma sa Dios sa atong relasyon, sa atong isikatao, diya sa atong pagkamanghihatagon, sa pagkamaluluyon. These virtues would surely prepare us for our ultimate destiny, which is to be with God forever in heaven. As we continue to offer this Holy Mass, we ask our Lord for the grace that we may understand the meaning of the gospel that we have just proclaimed, that we may overcome all forms of greediness and selfishness. Only then can we call ourselves true disciples of Jesus. Amen.